My name is Greg. I'm here today to give you a quick opinion uh, or opinions on my brand new Zager ZAD20E. Um, now I'm not going to give a formal review. I don't know that I'm qualified to give a formal review. I'm not a luthier, um, but I am a player. Uh, I've been playing since around 1966 or so. Um, so whatever that's worth. Um, I'm not going to give you a bunch of fancy chords, a bunch of finger picking or shredding the neck. Um, seems like everybody that tries to do a review on YouTube or something always has to sit there and show off their playing abilities or lack thereof. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell you what I think about this guitar. And I think it's, it's an important uh, thing to get uh, people's opinions out, people who play. So, Moving on, I, uh, I get it in the UPS package. Uh, package looks in good shape. UPS did a good job getting it here. Uh, I open it up. Uh, I go inside and the first thing I do is I rip the cover open and look at the guitar. Uh, the finish, um, to my amazement, was even better than what the website showed. Now, Zager's website uh, is very, very nice as far as showing their product. Uh, the product quality uh, and so forth but um, you really can't get the feeling of the guitar until you open it up in person. Um, finish is gorgeous, the color is deep um, and very impressive. So first thing I think of is let's grab this puppy and strum a few chords and see what we got. It's an easy play right? Let's make sure. So I picked it up Check the tuning, internal tuner, works great. Touched it up a little bit, uh, didn't need much touching. Uh, it was already almost in tune when I got it. So uh, I tune it up, I strum a handful of chords, I run up and down the neck a little bit, and I'm thinking to myself, this guitar, uh, as far as playability goes, I mean, they, Zager prides themselves on making an easy play guitar. Um, they did just that. Uh, this guitar is very easy to play. Very little finger pressure um, and, and the spacing on the neck. Uh, Denny Zager has got this right down to a science because my fingers are like little sausages. Um, so uh, my fingers on the neck of a guitar is kind of like a bull in a china shop. Uh, so I wanted to run around, make a few exotic chords, a couple of different things, and just see how it worked. And I, to my amazement, I found out that I'm not muting strings anymore. I don't have to pay that much attention and be that careful how I form the chords, um, so that I, you know, I, I don't uh, mute some strings and drop some notes. Um, I didn't have to worry about that. I could just play the chords, and everything came out nice and smooth. And um, right there, I was in love with this thing. Um, <clears throat> it, it's, it's one of those things, if you're not a guitar player, you don't know what I'm talking about. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you are a guitar player. So you're going to know what I mean when I say, this guitar feels like home. Um, I've played hundreds of guitars over the years, and when I pick this one up, it feels like home. And that's important to me. Um, I don't play a lot anymore um, because my age and uh, a lot of soreness and stiffness in my joints. Um, it's just one of those things. But this guitar makes it much easier for me to play. So moving on. Okay, I'm satisfied with the way the guitar plays. I, I, I love the way the guitar plays. So let's look at the rest of the stuff. Um, the neck is nice and uh, slim. Um, it it kind of reminds me of my Les Paul Custom um, that I had, uh, 1978 Paul Custom. Uh, slim neck, kind of a cross between a C and a D shaped neck. Uh, fits my hand perfectly. Uh, feels great. So I look at the frets. I'm, I'm careful. I look everything over. The frets are all uniform. They're nice, clean, polished. Uh, smooth, the neck is smooth, the fretboard is smooth, everything looks great. 
the action on it is very, very good. Um, I look at the back of the guitar, I don't see any pit marks, I don't see any fish eyes in the finish. A lot of times you see those little imperfections here and there on, on some guitars, and you just won't find that on the Zager guitar. Um, it's a gorgeous piece. Uh, the hardware, um, it's got Grover tuning heads, um, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, it's it's not that often now you can just pick up a, a mid-price range guitar and find Grovers on it. And that's impressive to me. I like that. Um, the sound coming out of this guitar um, is, well, in my opinion, above average. Uh, a lot of acoustic guitars, uh, if you've noticed, uh, people play them. Uh, the highs are always okay and a lot of times the lows are muddy they're muffled and muddy I don't like that I don't know how many people do but I don't this guitar um, I was pleasantly surprised at the clean bright presence of the notes coming out of this guitar I could pick the strings I could hear the pick coming off of the strings releasing the strings and uh, I was very, very satisfied with the cleanliness and uh, the mid-tones that come out. There's no harsh, uh, muddy overtones or anything like that coming out of this. It's just clean, bright notes, and I like that. When you make a good full chord, you can hear all the notes in the chord. Um, that's important to me, a good sound. And uh, so, overall, I've got to say um, my ranking on this guitar I have to give it a 9 plus out of a 10 scale. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I don't give it a 10 because uh, the strap buttons, and I'll show you right here, the strap button on the bottom here on the back is also the quarter inch jack. Now, sometimes that's a good thing. In my case, it's not. I have a 45 year old leather strap that I use on all my guitars. I've got strap locks um, on that strap. I cannot use my strap locks on this guitar because it, uh, if I take that strap button out to put the strap lock on, I'm losing my quarter inch jack for my electronics. Um, if I had to do it over again, I would call, simply call Denny on the phone and ask him to put a quarter inch jack in the bottom uh, of the guitar before it's shipped to me. That's the only fault I see with this guitar. Um, and to me, that's amazing. For the price of this guitar, um, you know, prices come and prices go, prices change over the years. Um, this is 2013, so I'm going to tell you that with the hard shell case, this guitar and the shipping was $715 to my door, uh, which means the guitar is about 600 bucks. And with that, uh, it's hard to find a guitar of this quality for this kind of money anywhere else. I'm a Zager uh, friend right now. I'm a Zager advocate. And... I would say uh, anybody who wants to, especially students, just getting into guitars, learning how to play, you want them to play on a guitar that's easy to play or they're going to be discouraged. This is especially important for young people just starting out. Um, you don't want to discourage them or make them think it's very difficult to play a guitar. They're going to lose interest pretty quickly. This guitar will make it easy for them to play they'll want to learn because it's not difficult. So, uh, instead of rambling on for, you know, ever and ever, um, the sound of the guitar is nice and full and bright. That's all I'm gonna play, um, just to show you how it, how it sounds and, and, uh, and the intonation is great. So, that's my opinion. Take it or leave it. Uh, people can do what they want with it. 
um, but I'm impressed. I'm a Zager fan, and I will be adding to my collection of Zagers. Thanks much. See you later.